Thank you. First, I, it's an honor to be here. Uh, so it, it's just amazing to celebrate this International Yoga Day here with you all, the honoraries, the dignitaries. Um, yeah, so that was my story. I, I grew up in Texas, and I had all my life had, you know, uh, been conditioned in a sense of thinking of myself as an athlete, and I had had a lot of attainments of whether it be from high school, uh, college, and to the pros, and and all I ever known myself was to be this football player, and uh, and when that actual incident happened, uh, there's a posture we call shavasana, and I was basically on my back in the space of vulnerability, and 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 as that gladiator type of person, because I played the linebacker position, and it's like the alpha male on the position is is seeking out and it's hitting pretty much all day long. So, you know, so when I'm in this vulnerable space you know, the masculine, and, and all the people, we probably, probably had about 80,000 people in the stands and millions of people watching, and I'm in this place of vulnerability. And I, and I did realize this, this identity falling away, and, and I'm trying to hold it. You know, in so many cases, we, we all kind of cling to these things that we've, you know, attained that we're good at. And, and, and I guess fortunate and unfortunate, some, like the doctor, the lawyer, gets to live that out his entire life, never having, having to, the idea of transitioning. But for extreme sports to, to military types, we have to transition because we can't do this game forever. And so for me, uh, I lost that, but I gained so much. I gained another identity. Uh, when I was in this, I, I was diagnosed with a spinal contusion and, and the doctor, they didn't know if I would walk. You know, and I wasn't even thinking about walking. I was thinking about playing in my mind because that's how I was. I was this gladiator and everything was possible for me. And I thought like this ever since a kid. But yeah, so, so the doctor said, we, we don't know what your circumstances are. And I was learning the, in the hospital, the nurse just came to me. And ironically, they had me uh, in a rehabilitation program and I couldn't move. <laughs> so she, she whispered into my ear and she said, I'm gonna talk to you about conscious breathing. She says, on the inhale, the diaphragm pushes down. On the exhale, it pushes up. And we take about 10,000 breaths a day. And with the idea uh, that you can commit to, you know, we call it intention in yoga, uh, to put this intention that in this, I can heal myself. One of the interesting quotes that I, I've created from this, when I realize that I can participate in my healing, then I'm no longer the victim. So no matter what the diagnosis is, when I realized that I can participate in this, I'm a victor. And so for me, that was my playbook. You know, my intention, I'm gonna heal myself. And the time was of urgency, because you know, every day was in promise. I didn't know what was gonna be the next day and the next week and so forth. And I went through these stages of depression. I went through these stages of insanity and I had to really question a lot of things. But one of the things that I questioned when I was flat on my back, I questioned the relationships that I had. I questioned the relationships I had with my mother and father and my sister and the words that I would say casually about love. And really when I think about the, the words I would say, I, they had no substance. And I realized the mindset when I come out of this hospital, because I know I'm gonna will myself to, to be functional again, I want to have more depth in my love. I want to have more depth in this. But then I had to realize I had to have more depth in myself. My whole life, I had put myself in compromised situation. I realized my body didn't even trust me. This was a relationship I had, basic neglect. So through this process, one of the interesting things I learned was patience. Because as my body was going through this transformation of like, kind of like defrosting, it was like every day, it was just like a little bit more feeling, a little bit more feeling. And I'm over here like, hurry up, hurry up, let's go, we gotta go. But I had to be patient. And not only did I have to be patient, I had to be compassionate. And I had to learn that. I got a, I got a lesson 101 in compassion and patience with myself. But then I also realized how when I move forward, you know, this day forward, because no matter, no matter what happens in the past, right, this moment forward, we can move into a whole nother space. And for me, and through this month and a half period of going in and out of paralysis and being poked and prod by doctors, I became functional again. I became functional again, but it also took me to this place of meditation, took me to this place of yoga. And I started to realize connection 
in my own life with myself. And then it expanded out to the people around me. And then as I went a little bit deeper, it expanded into places in my community. I, I went to one of the most interesting things that I had experienced in my life. I went to a, a, a yoga retreat. And it was like a weekend. And I met people that in this short period of time, it seemed like months, they knew more about me than my immediate family did. I was able to expose myself to them. That, and I was, like, I was like, are you kidding me? The world should know about this. And I created this really, and I want to talk about this because I believe um, this idea of greatness potential, because this is how I teach, because I, I, I like to take each and every person and say, what's great in you? And if you haven't realized something that's great in you, we're going to find something that's great in you today. Because all these practices really don't matter unless you make it applicable in your life. We have to make this thing functional in our lives. And this perpetuates it out into the world. So back to this, and I'll make it really quick. I know we're on a timer. Right? But I had this idea. I had just moved to L.A. And I wanted to create something for the community because I wanted to have this event. I wanted to create this space because I just had this mind-blowing experience. And I wanted the city of LA to experience this. But you know the kicker about this? I had just moved to LA, and I probably knew 10 people. <laughs> and I had an idea of having 10, thousands of, you know, thousands of people. And I'm like, where am I gonna put it? I said, we, try, we chose the, the Coliseum, the LA Coliseum, where they hosted the Olympics and so forth, and they play football games there and host over 100,000 people. And I wanted to get the police uh, chief involved. I wanted to get the mayor involved. I wanted to get the community leaders involved. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And this is this thing we call manifesting. And I manifested this idea. And it's not about how. It's about this is what's going to happen. I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to sow this seed into the universe, and I'm going to see this out. And to make the story short, I got the city council to help me bust in 5,000 kids. We had three stages, one stage committed to solely meditation and yoga. We had one stage committed to solely nutrition, teaching people about health and nutrition. We had health screenings. We had a 5K run walk, <clears throat> brought the community together, and they had never experienced anything like that, because guess what? We made it for free. <laughs> and we raised about $750,000 through the experience. And through the foundation, we donated this money back into the community of Los Angeles. And I'm here to tell you, just like I told when I talk to little kids and they talk about being an, an aspiring to be an, an athlete, 0.02% make it. You have a better chance of winning a lottery. <laughs> but I tell them, you know, you can, you can do it. And it's not about how. It's not about the story. But it's just putting your mindset to it. It's that story, if you, if you, if you reach for the, the moon and you come up short, you grab the stars. And this is what's possible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.